We had those beans. Mm, no. And now we are on the original Diagon Alley used in the film. We are in the Forbidden Forest. I'm about to go through this wall into the Hogwarts Express. Ready? Hand on. We in here, boy. Hogwarts Express. First try butterbeer. It's pretty dang good. It tastes like cream soda. This is supposed to be the wand shop. What's up, guys? This is Harry Potter here. I'm taking you on a tour of the London Warner Brothers Harry Potter Studio. Come along for the ride. We'll show you about how they do the green screen Quidditch. We'll show you all the special effects. And if you want to see more, you're going to have to come here yourself. Hopefully, this piques your imagination and makes you want to read the books or see the movies or come here yourself. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you inside. You must solemnly swear that you are up to no good. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Connor Sullivan, I am in London filming a little TV travel series with some people from China and today we are gonna have a special edition Harry Potter World, Warner Brothers Studios. I'm a huge fan, I'm going to the lobby, we gotta meet them. We gotta get on the London Underground and then we have to get on a special Harry Potter bus and then we'll be there at Hogwarts, baby. There's the Underground, see that? I've read the books, I've seen the movies, and now I'm gonna go to the real world. It's been a few years, but this is the place to do it if you wanna see anything Harry Potter. London, where the author J.K. Rowling is from. Rowling Rowling is from. Boom! I think we're gonna get on the first train right here and head off to Potter World, boy. London Northwestern Railway service to London Houston. Look at that. Harry Potter. London Houston. Yo, what up? Yo, what up? We got about a 20 minute ride on this double decker. My first time. This is gonna be my first time being on a two story bus. Let's do this. Top is the best. We're here. Harry Potter Studios. And you have to make sure if you want to come here, book online. We booked two months in advance, right? Yeah. Two months in advance. The All these people did as well. It's very busy. This is the actual studio right here. And we're gonna start the tour, baby. Harry Potter world. Okay, we're walking in the doors for the first time. Here's the opening room. They got posters of all the movies, pretty much. Philosopher's Stone, Goblet of Fire. This is sick. We're gonna go through this thing together. Y'all gonna see everything up in here. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. If you want to use the Marauder's Map, this is key, my friends. You must solemnly swear that you are up to no good. If you've read the books or seen the movies, you know this. This is the initial hallway to walk into Harry Potter world. I'm pretty sure we're walking around the outside of the uh, studio and then we're gonna get away, then we're gonna find our way in. I'm excited, I think I'm more excited about this studio tour than any other, you know, attraction or theme park because I am invested. I've read all the books. I haven't seen all the movies, I confess, but the books are way better and you know way more detail if you've read the books. So, let's keep going, man. Those are my feet. And they can see on the map. This is the initial walk in right here. And guess what? Free Wi Fi. Look at that car, bro. Remember that? He flies with that. Oh, what's up, Harry? What's up, Ron? What's up, little Harry? Snape, what's Gucci? Before we go into Harry Potter, you have to take a test. Basically, you test what house you get into. I took this test online. Look at the house. I am Harry Potter. A lot of you guys have asked me if I'm single or I have a girlfriend. And I just want you guys to know that I am taken, okay? She's here with me at Harry Potter World. Let me introduce you to her. This is actually her. Just in case you were wondering, sorry about that. Okay, so we're waiting for our tour. I'm pretty sure tours go every hour, maybe every half hour, but ours starts in maybe 10 minutes. See that little cup while we're waiting here? That's the Triwizard Cup. Uh, I forgot exactly what happens. Is that when they win the Quidditch match? I'm not sure. Look at this. Used for the London premiere of Goblet of Fire. Boom. Okay, we are in the waiting room before we go see a film. 
and the film is also before we go on the real tour and it shows how she came up with the idea in the books and in the films but I think it's awesome how she was on a delayed train from Manchester to London and then she just came up with the idea to write about a boy wizard eventually that idea became the books and the films that we all know super inspiring honestly it's crazy how just one person can come up with an idea and eventually it involves so many other people and now all of us here Hello. This is the intro right here. We just watched a movie and then we go through these doors. Families, give us a wave back. That is it. Happy birthday, guys. A big round of applause. Oh, Great Hall, what's up? Alright, we're Everybody walking into the Great Hall right now. Before it was to the original one. Crazy boy. This is the original <laughs> hall they used in the film, man. The short film that we saw before we entered had Hermione, Ron, and Harry basically explain the thousands of people that were involved in everything from hair and makeup to costume design to art direction. This is sweet. This is sweet. So we're gonna check out the entire thing today. Um, the only thing I can say, don't take my video for for like your own experience. You gotta come here yourself. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I think it's definitely worth it. Look at this, man. The Leaky Cauldron, that's, in, that's a famous place. This hallway from the Wizard Pub and Inn was designed using a visual technique called forced perspective, which makes it appear to be more than 50 feet long on screen. So basically, this hallway looks super long, but in reality, it's only seven feet to the end of that, you know? You can kind of see the perspective from the side view. You know, it, it only goes to back there, but then you go this way, it looks like, whoa way down there. All these special effects here are awesome. This is the potions class with Snape, Harry's least favorite class. I'm pretty sure this is all legit. Like they used all this stuff in the actual movie. Look at this, these little special effects right here. Self-stirring pot, what's up? Let's go to Dumbledore's office. The actual set. Here we go. Whomping Willow, look at that. They use this and just whoa, boom on that car. Dude, this is dope. Like behind the scenes, you can see exactly how everything works. Here's the burrow. Yeah, the Weasleys. This is the Weasleys' house. And the dishes wash themselves and stuff like that. Dang boy. Special effects in the Weasley house. I gotta wave my hand over here. So then it starts working. Yeah, boy. Pots cleaning. Knives chopping. All right, look at this. This is like Hagrid's special effect where he would sit in a chair like that little kid and then his parents look really small. So like Harry and Ron were over there and then Hagrid was like huge. I can show you the screen. The kid looks ginormous. I'm gonna show you the photo and see if it really works. It really works. Look at this photo. I don't know. Hey, zoom in. Like look at how big I look compared to her. That's crazy. I'm like Hagrid. This is Harry Potter here. I'm taking you on a tour of the London Warner Brothers Harry Potter Studio. My absolute favorite game of all time is Quidditch. Not American football or normal football. Quidditch. How many points do you get for the snitch? Tell me. The right answer is 150 points for the snitch. And usually that results in a win for your team. I am now feeling how it feels to be a super fan. I've never really been a super fan of anything. I've been a fan, but not a super fan. But now, super fan. This is where they do the green screen effects for the wizards on the brooms. So everybody's waiting in line to sit on a broom and act like they're flying over some water or something like that. Pretty cool, actually. Okay, one of my favorite parts has to be Hagrid's motorbike is a Royal Enfield. One of my favorite styles of bike. I didn't know this when I watched the movies, but look at that, Royal Enfield. I've ridden one of these things in India. It was one of the funnest things I have ever I done. And Hagrid had the same one. All right, this is the Forbidden Forest right here. It actually looks intense. We are in the Forbidden Forest. 
I got all my wizarding wardrobe, including my wand, and I'm gonna go attempt to go through the forest of spiders. Here we go. Very creepy. Oh, shiza. Look at this. This is a big old spider. Look at these spiders. Get the HOA if you want to change or make it thunder or lightning. I did that, John. <laughs> Look at this big old bird too. I'm pretty sure Harry found this in the in the forest. See it? It's real. There's only one left. And then uh, honestly, like these special effects are pretty cool. Like look at the smoke and stuff. It's like Harry inside the smoke, you know? <laughs> this is probably the most photographed thing in the Harry Potter world. Platform nine and three quarters right there. You got a couple little, you got a couple little carts that you can use. The train is right here, Hogwarts Express, which is what I get on every year to go to class. I said it before, come here yourself. If you love Harry Potter, it's definitely worth it. The movies and stuff don't always do it justice. It's cool to see behind the scenes. The books are probably the best. I'm about to go through this wall into the Hogwarts Express. Ready? Hand on. We in here, boy. Hogwarts Express. These are the sets for where Harry and Ron were like on the Hogwarts Express. So out the window is the green screen and then they can put, you know, the scenery that's going by. They can put whatever they want on the outside so it makes them look like they're anywhere in the world. That's genius. They got even more props out here. The night bus, Privet Drive. It's a set up there. Creature effects. Dang. All right, this is this whole thing is explaining how they made the creatures the faces the creepy things. That's cool, man Oh, this is a scary one The werewolves were actually humans in costume look at that they put it on the dude's head and the werewolf is up there That's crazy bro making a movie is an art in itself. It takes thousands of people to make this thing look good. That's that's the cool thing about movies. You know, you watch them and you're like, wow, that was a good movie, but you don't realize that it took legitimately a year to film or more for some movies. People on the special effects, that thing is dope. Hey, remember the plants? The plants that they pull out the pot and they start like squirming? Those are right here, little robotic plants. We can see how this guy lives. Push the button. There you go, he's breathing. That's good, bro. Here's all the hats, it's awesome, man. How to create different hats for every character. Oh, look at this. We are on the original Diagon Alley used in the film. Check it out, look what it looks like. Boom. We got the uh, Ollivander's wand shop. Dude, this is dope, bro. The owl shop, too. That's what the owls are. So before they even built all the sets, they had to make little models of them. This takes even more than I thought. So yeah, they have to draw out the pictures of how it looks. They have to make models of how they look. And then, and only then, do they build the sets, do they use the special effects to make the movie. That's insane. Whoa, man, that is legit. This is a huge replica of the castle at Hogwarts. That is really dope. Man, imagine being the person whose job is to pretty much just build a Lego version, almost life-size version of Harry Potter. This is a replica of the wand shop. They have names of all the people that have bought wands. Look at this, remember Butterbeer from the movie? They actually sell it here and they have ice cream too. First try Butterbeer, it's pretty dang good. It tastes like cream soda with a can, candy whipped cream, cream soda in the middle. Mm. The final challenge, we did this, this Birdie Bots Ever Flavored Bean Challenge, and I have to spin this little spinner and then pick one of the flavors. And what happens is, they have two flavors that look the exact same. One of them is like sugary, and the other one is stinky socks, rotten eggs, canned dog food, and vomit. And the first four spins, I ate it, and I got the, the bad flavor. And it actually tastes pretty bad. I was impressed at how bad they can actually make it taste. Vomit one? 
it tasted like really old spaghetti mixed with rotten tomatoes. And then I got the one that tastes like lawn clippings. It legitimately felt like I ate some of my grass out of the lawnmower. The toothpaste one tasted all right because toothpaste isn't that bad. Rotten eggs, mm, the booger one had a little bit of a texture to it. So it made it even worse. But hey, either way, it's pretty funny. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna try like four in a row and see if I can get some sort of flavor that's, that's desirable. You ready, ready? Mm, no, no way. That, it's honestly bad. Ooh, I got like a mixture of booger, grass, dog food. Thank you guys for joining me on this tour of Hogwarts, and we out. Unfortunately, the video is now over, but if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit subscribe because I'm gonna be traveling all over the world. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, more importantly, because I will be updating you exactly where I am in the world live. That story function, you know about that. Be sure to check out my two other channels where I talk about personal things. Thank you guys for the support. You have honestly allowed me to live my dream, traveling the world and sharing experiences everywhere I go. Thanks, guys. Peace, y'all. See you next video. Boom, baby, let's gizzo.